Shwoo. Shwoo. That's the sound of a video starting. <laughs> Oof. That's the sound of Laura hitting her. Hitting a wall. <laughs> Can't that's, get that's through good. that gator pit. Uh, yeah, I went in that gator pit, and I don't see anything in this gator pit. Do you see anything in this gator pit? Two dead gators. Do you have to fill it up with water? Probably. It looks like it may, may have once been filled with water. I would hope so, or those gators are far from their home. I don't. Yeah, I wonder what they ate. Gorillas uh, that fell in. I wonder. I wonder if they would fight. Those gators? Yeah. Oh, I bet they'd fight. Fight like cats and dogs. <laughs> fight like gorillas and gators. Gorillas and gators. So, oh yeah, yeah. We looked up that disease. Yeah. It's, um, it's called Kuru, and it affected a, a tribe in Papua New Guinea who would eat their dead uh, after, well, in the in the funeral process. Yeah, it was like a ritual sort of thing. So there was a protein in, I don't know if it was specifically the brain or not, but there was a protein that would uh, basically cause you to lose muscle control, start shaking, and then eventually die. Um, you like laugh uncontrolled. Yeah, you laugh, have outbursts of laughter, um, even though you're depressed. Yeah, you're depressed at the same time. Basically everything sucks, you, you're incontinent. Yeah, you get sores and necrosis, and things just don't look good. And, uh... Like, everything goes wrong. Yeah. And, um... The... Bovine version of that is mad cow disease. Yeah, so it's like... Just eating brains is just no just, good for really anybody. Yeah, just don't eat brains, man. Don't do it. Yeah, moral of the story. Pick around the brains. Yeah, eat around the brains. Yeah. And you should be fine. And now we don't need to say anything for the rest of the episode. No, because that's, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. So where where are we in this? Uh, this is an under... This is a buried tomb. This is some sort of buried uh, gator... Monkey gator tomb. Monkey gator lion tomb. And am I going in circles? Because I feel like I am. You're exploring. I went in there, right? I already went in there. Did I go down here? Now I'm lost. Now I don't know. Just tr pick something and try Should it. I go back inside that We're trying to get area? in this thing, right? Well, I was in it. I think I was in it, right? I don't think you've been in it yet. Maybe there's a door that you're just like... Pretty sure I came out of... Oh, yeah. Not... Okay, yeah. You know what? You're probably right. I did. probably didn't go in there. Like the ground level... I know. Wasn't that where the, the lion attacked me? Yeah, yeah, and you freaked out, ran away, and started exploring other things because the lion scared you. Right, so let's go back in here. I don't think I can get in here. There's one that was a dead end. Right. And there was another that was lions. Okay, so that's that. And the other one was a dead end. I didn't see anything in there, so I'm coming in here. I need to explore my environment over here, I think. Okay. Yes. Explore your environment. Explore your environment, people. Don't eat brains. Nothing in there. Don't, yeah, don't eat any brains. Uh, there's... It looks like there's a way to get up in, like, a ledge over there. Onto a ledge. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go back here. Uh, and I'm gonna look. And I'm just gonna try to... Survey. Survey. There engage. you go. So, I went on to that second level... And I went in there, and there were gators in there, right? Right. Uh, yes, there were gators in there. Yes. Um, I didn't check in the water here, should I? Do you think I should? That's where you come in, right? Yeah, that's where I came you in. You came up out of that. Is there something I'm maybe missing in there? Nah, probably not. Nah. Okay, so let's go back up here. Process of elimination. Process of elimination. It's hard when everything is brown and even more brown. Yep. These okay. graphics are charming in their own way. They definitely are. Like the two, the little flat images. Like, look at those, look at those columns. <laughs> it's cute. I really liked uh, this era Shit. of graphics. It's just like playing games like Xenogears and Breath of Fire 3 and 4. And Tomb Raider. It's just feels 
unique, you know? Like, the graphics haven't been this way ever again. And even now, people are intentionally making retro games, and they look like Super Nintendo and Nintendo games. We're going to get to that point where this is going to be retro enough for so people that are going to start designing them to look like this. You think that's going to happen? Yeah. It's going to happen. And there's also... Uh, they're also going to go... This is my prediction. That's one prediction. The other prediction is when they would do a mix of 3D, 2D on PlayStation, I loved it. Like in Symphony of the Night, where there was a couple 3D elements in it. Oh, yeah. And what I really miss is Rainbow in games. Like, Rainbow used to be, before it was really taken on as a symbol for uh, the gay community, it was in video games, left and right, and it was a symbol of power. Right? And then it's just like, oh, well, the gay people are using, using it, we can't have that anymore. Because people think this sword or power-up is gay now. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, so I know what you mean, like, um... Like, you're, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario still uses it, because it, it's still... They don't give... They don't care. They'll just use it. Just like, it, no, this is, this is... These are the rules. You go rainbow, man. You mean... <laughs> yeah, you mean, like, um... I don't know, like, Secret of Mana, when you're, like, powering your stuff up, and it goes all... Yeah, it goes all it goes rainbow. All flashy, it goes flashy. all the colors. I love that. I oh, love so that. Good. And Symphony of the Night, there's rainbow stuff. Uh, when you level up, or or when you get like yeah. a, a health upgrade, a la card, the like basic Prince of Darkness will go rainbow, and it's like, you know, just I, badass. I don't necessarily think that's uh, because of the um, maybe they just community. grew. I think to, it's just they maybe they grew to think it was tacky or something. It's but just, I miss it. Um, it's just part of the whole, like, 2D cartoony thing just getting thrown out of the window because of the, the cod blops. The cod blops? The cod blops. You're blaming cod blops? I'm blaming cod blops. Cod I'm, duty? I'm, yeah. And Halo. And all them shoot 'em up games. I think... They're all the, like, metal... Yeah, okay. I think it's because they don't want to... They don't want people to think that, like, the sword or the power-up is, is some sort of gay thing. I don't think that's Not that they think that it's bad or anything, it's just that they don't want people to make those co that connection. Because you see Rainbow now, it's like, okay, that that's a, the gay symbol, right? I think it's just the general trend towards everything being gray and brown. Yeah, that's probably a factor, too. Colors, gray and brown, yeah. Colors just not that was present. big for a while. I think they really started coming out of that, though. Uh, since everyone, like, everyone started making fun of that, how everything was gray and brown, to be yeah. super serious. It, I, I guess it just depends on which system you're using as to who has uh, come to reject the gray and brown and who is still embracing it. Well, certain cool games you kind of have to do gray and brown. George is getting angry at this, okay? George is getting super like, angry. What do I do? I mean, we're gonna have to figure this out we're gonna at the end this of this. Out, at the end of this episode, I don't want to subject people to this. We were just wandering around talking about whatever, while you don't get anywhere in this game. Yeah, let's not right. make it one of those episodes. It's well, I mean, it, is it already is. Damn it! It already is. <laughs> well, let's not make next episode one of those episodes. And I mean, everyone's probably just sitting there, like trying yeah, like, real hard to be offended at what I'm saying. He's like, oh, he's going to say it. He's going to say something offensive. Let's get ready. But nope, I don't think I did. I think I got out, out of this one clean. I don't think you did. No? No, I think you're done for. You think so? You're getting cute never working in this town again. Never Mr. working in this town again. I said the word gay like three times. Ooh. Done. Oh, he said you're that word. So done. Well... Next time, I'll have this figured out for you. Don't you worry. What if you never figure it Don't out? You... Oh, no, I'll figure it out. All right, see you next time. See you next time.